Hey guys, Ghostly Rich here. How's it going? So I'm going to show you today how to program a TELUS remote. Now you can also use these facts for when you're uh, programming your Shaw remote or what other, other style remote you have. Um, usually what will happen is you get a bag like so and you're going to just open it up. Let's see if I can do this all with one hand. So once you get it open pull it out, open your booklet nice and wide, Let's see if I can whip this open, ta-da, so this is our English, yes, cool, now the other thing is, is you can always look up online, if you don't have this, the IR booklet, a lot of the times the uh, name of the remote or the remote number will be on the remote itself. Uh, this one it's not actually. I'm kind of surprised. Let's check the battery door. If not, I can tell you right now, if yours looks like this, it is an AT6400. But all you can usually, you know, all you really have to do is type it in online and you're good to go. So next thing, of course, we're going to insert our batteries. Now, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do the TV, since the TV is uh, usually if you're buying a brand new TV, a lot of people are using high def, um, you can just uh, do a TV search. This is the easiest option. So, for this remote, you're going to hit TV and OK. If you own a Shaw remote, it'll say usually on the back right here what you have to do, which is usually you have to press TV and then you hit the setup button. Well, tell us you don't do that. You uh, hit TV and OK, like so. Count to three, let go. You see it blinks twice on the top there. After it's blinked, you press 922. Two. As you've seen it blink twice again, you aim it at your device and press play. And you're going to wait until your TV shuts off. After it's done so, press the power key, make sure it turns back on, which mine did. Perfect. Press enter. Your TV is now programmed into your remote. And it'll also control TV volume, which is kind of nice. Now, um, if you have a Shaw remote, you'll hit that TV button, you'll press setup. You hold setup until all the buttons blink, and then you hit 991. Um, after you put that in, it'll blink probably, and then you hit channel up. And you keep hitting channel up until it finds the TV code. Once you're there, press power, make sure it's the right code. If it's not, press back a channel or channel down, and it'll actually go back a code, and then you can uh, that'll turn your TV off. So after you've programmed your TV in here, the next one you're going to want to do is your audio system. Now, audio system on the... Shaw remote's a little bit easier with uh, TELUS here. It has just an aux, and this can get a little bit, you know, crazy. So, first thing you're going to do is um, we read up on here on uh, assigning our remote keys. Now, see, we have this aux one. You can uh, actually do an auto program scan using the 922, and then you can press play and continue going through them and you can go into device categories but I suggest for your receiver since there's a lot of them you just take this and flip it over and as you can see check to see if you have a home theater in a box if you don't know what this is this is when you buy a blu-ray player or something it ha comes with a speaker system and you just hook it up to the blu-ray player um, if you buy just like a Pioneer amplifier or a Yamaha or Denon or something that's going to be known as an amplifier or receiver on here uh, depends. So, as you can see here, I'm going to look mine up. And I have a Pioneer. So, it'll show some remote codes. Probably not going to focus in on them. Because this camera doesn't want to focus. Alright, so, we're going to say do a Pioneer. So, the first one I'm going to try is the 6004. So, how do you try a remote code, you might ask? You're going to put aux and OK on this remote. And then let go. And then... The remote code I'm going to try first is a 6004. 6004. It's blinked twice, three times, perfect. Let's see if it turns it off. No. So we need to try another code. Let's press aux again and the OK button. Release. We have it blinked twice. And then we try another one. 
So my next one is 6009. 6009. Oh, look at that. It's my remote code. So if I'm in the aux mode, can I change volume up and down? Go back into aux. And it doesn't want to. All it wants to do for aux is turn it on and off. So we need to change that because it ha thinks there's a master power. Now this is where stuff gets uh, or master volume. So you can actually change master volume or you can have different ones. So now that I've got all my stuff programmed here, I'm just going to program my volume for my receiver to control it all. So let's look at this. Changing power for multiple. This is if you want to have a master power. I usually have mine on. So if I'm in the STB mode on this remote, it turns everything on and everything off. Um, that way I just use this remote when I want to start everything at the beginning. So let's go here and say control volume for one device for different devices. So it says complete step one through four, controlling volume down, then enter the key. Press and release enter key. The ST mode key blinks three times. All right, so let's try this out. So first thing, press the STB button. And it says without releasing STB button, press OK. So same thing. We're going to hit both of them. Let go. It's going to blink twice. After it's done this, put 955 in. 955. And then press and release the mode key that you want to control volume, aux. And it's blinked twice. Perfect. After this, we'll just press enter. See if it controls it. So, tell us. And look, it's now controlling that. And if we press channel, it's controlling this. Perfect. And then if we want to turn everything off, let's see if everything turns off. NASDAQ. Oh, it's actually going to turn anything on. So, triple the number it delivers and then takes payment for. How confident are you it can stick with that? Okay, so it currently thinks that the uh, master power key is on. I think. Let's try this one more time. Yep. So we're going to have to program it in, so it turns everything off. So that's good. Now I can show you master power. Now, if you want, you can leave it like this because then you hit S to be power. TV power, and then you hit aux power. So that way you don't have to worry about it getting confused. You just turn the device on that you want to turn on. So let's try that one more time. STV power, cable, or TV power, and then aux, which will be audio power. Now, let's uh, show you how to do master power. So controlling multiple powers. So we're going to hit the... STB button and OK button again. And then you're going to release. Watch it blink twice. Then we're going to hit 977. And then after we've done that, press the TV power, aux power. Let's see if that does it. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't like that one. I'm going to try this one more time. Okay, so we're going to press TV or STB. Okay. 977. After that, we're going to put in, press that one, press TV, and let's see if I can hit aux. Or no, you have to hit STB again, and then aux maybe. Let's try this. No. It probably wants us to hit it, repeat six for up to two. Second device, press the applicable mode key, then select the mo Okay, so let's try this one more time. Okay, and then we're going to hit 977, and then 
and then we're going to hit STB TV and aux perfect and then press enter alright so what you have to do if you're programming this is hit the STB button and OK button put in 977 and then afterwards you hit STB and then TV and then aux and then after that you press enter and it's saved so let's see if this turns it off I'm going to turn our receiver off since I kept turning it on and off and receiver all right let's see if it all turns on for us oh TV turned on there we go so everything's off our remotes all programmed STB mode is on power and everything turns on for us as you can see volume is going up and down for the receiver channel is changing the channels on our Telus box and that's all you're really looking for right is something to turn your TV on now the thing is is if you're like me and you have your receiver program to do the input switching you're still gonna need this for doing other things other than watching TV like if you wanna go to your PS3 or your Xbox but this does it allows you to tweak out your remote now once again all you know cable remotes come with something like this I just showed you this so that way you can kinda of get a feel for it how easy it is I mean a lot of people just they don't bother but it does really make your life a little bit easier uh, so after you've programmed this uh, if you're still having problems or if you want a remote that does everything you might want to start looking at a Harmony remote Harmony remote uh, most places that sell them offer a programming um, person and they do charge but it's definitely worth it because then that programming person can tweak them if you're good at programming with a computer you can always um, program the remote yourself other than that, I hope this helps you out, and uh, like and subscribe. Have a great day.